Uh, CBS 4 News exclusive Jared Moskowitz, the director of Florida's Emergency Management Service, is speaking out tonight to CBS 4's Jim DeFitti about the state's rollout of the COVID-19 vaccines and his dissatisfaction with vaccine supply. Take a listen. So are you satisfied with the rollout of the vaccine so far? No, Jim, I'm as frustrated uh, as everybody else, but, but I want to be clear, this is a supply problem. It's not a distribution problem. The reason why there are not enough sites open, which is why these sites are getting overwhelmed with people, phone numbers, online systems, is because we can't open up more sites because we don't have enough vaccine. Well, wait a second. Talk you've got, you've got, but when we were talking earlier, you said you've got about 1.2, 1.3 million doses, and you've only given out about a third of those. So it's not a supply problem in that sense. You've got more vaccine ready to go into arms than you're actually putting into arms. Yeah, that 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 that's that's a. I understand how that how you're phrasing it, but the truth of the matter is, is that we have about 200,000 vaccines that come off the top for the long-term care program in order to turn on the long-term care program with the federal government. So 200,000 right off the top. Then we have 400 hospitals, obviously that have vaccine. So when we say there's hundreds of thousands of doses in hospitals, when you separate it out by 400, it turns out that there's only a thousand here, two thousand there, three thousand there, and they're getting those out. It's why the governor instructed me to go out and hire a 1,000 nurses to increase throughput. And we've seen that happen. We did 60,000 shots uh, yeah, uh, yesterday. It was our number one day. Uh, we're increasing. We're third in the nation in shots and arms. So at the end of the day, it's getting better. But we do have a supply problem. In the 65 and older community where we're opening up pods, whether it's a county pod, a hospital pod, or a state pod, thousands of people are trying to descend on sites where we only have enough vaccine to feed that site for 500 a day or 1,000 a day. I got half a million doses in week two. In week three, I got 50% less. And the federal government is only giving us a seven-day look ahead. So people are like, where's the long-range planning? How can you plan when you're only being told what you're getting seven days ahead? That is a failure of the Operation Warp Speed system. A lot of important questions there. You can watch Jim's exclusive interview with Jared Moskowitz in its entirety Sunday morning at 8.30 on Facing South Florida.